What is up, guys? PZ here with the GoTo Gamers, and uh, I got some COD 4 multiplayer commentary for you guys. Uh, I don't know if you guys want to see this, but uh, this is what I'm going to do. And um, <clears throat> actually, we've had a lot of people, not a lot of people, but we have some people saying, oh, you know, put up some Call of Duty gameplay. So, like we said, we didn't want to do Black Ops because we thought that was played out. And so I jumped on Call of Duty 4 the other day, and I got this gameplay, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and use it. I'm going to commentate it and see if you guys like what's going on. So, I'm using a sniper here. Um, I think it's the, probably the most used weapon. Everyone probably knows this weapon. If you've played Call of Duty, this is in montages. And this is what started out Call of Duty. I mean, it's what started out gaming and YouTube commentaries and stuff like that. It was basically this game. And I think this is what started a lot of people out in gaming in general. I know it did for me. Um, this, The game that came out, this game right here, that November. The following December, which is the following month. I don't want to say the following December. The next month, December... Me and my brother got an Xbox 360, and um, it was ours to share. And I think with the other money we got from you know relatives and so that we went out to Best Buy and we picked up this game. And not long after that, we picked up uh, Xbox Live because we had no idea you needed Live with the game to play it online. But I mean, we picked it up and you know I played online. It was just nothing I've done before. It was totally different that I could jump on a cons a console. You know, you didn't need a computer to run the game you could just jump on a console and actually play online with people and there were so many people on it was like it just seemed like it would never end and I, this is what started me out like I'm saying I think it started a lot of people out and um, in general with gaming like it did for me um, and you know me and brother kept sharing that Xbox for a while and uh, I think maybe a year and a half two years after that I you know we purchased separate ones. I got another one because, you know, it was just, it was hard to share. Maybe it was less than a year. I mean, I think it was like a year. The next following Christmas or something like that. It's hard to share an Xbox. If you guys have ever had to do that, you know, when you have a, a sibling, especially back then, this game didn't have multiplayer split screens. So it was, it was taking turns or playing for 30 minutes and then he was going to jump on for 30 minutes. And then you don't want to get off because your friends are on and he doesn't have any friends on or his friends are on. He wants you to get off because you don't have any friends on. It was, it's just hard to share a console. So. I ended up picking my own up and, you know, playing, I got this game again, I think, or something like that, because I think, no, I might have gotten World of War, and then I got this game again, I don't know, some way, but I've had every every Call of Duty since this game has been out, and uh, most games since that, that, you know, rival this kind of game, because this is the game that I was into, and so I wanted to keep playing, I do not hate, I mean, I do not miss Painkiller at all, what was that one part, I think it's overkill in this game, we could have multiple primaries, that was sick, I don't know why I didn't use that. This game, if you guys are wondering, is from yesterday. And um, this was like one of the only games I jumped into that didn't have hackers. Because if you don't know, Call of Duty 4, they kind of let down their um, security. So now there's a bunch of hackers in this game. Like every lobby you go into will say, oh, modded from this such and such website. And this is one of the few games I actually joined into. I wish I would have gotten a collateral there. That it wasn't full of hackers. And I actually tried to join a few more games after this. And it was filled with hackers. And it was just, it's ridiculous. If you're, if you're hacking, like, guys, come on. You know what I mean? Let's just just play the game. It's not that hard. I don't know. I don't. I don't get why people think it's fun. It's whatever though. It is what it is. Um. Let's see. If you guys missed my video yesterday, my Forza video, I got hired at GameStop for the seasonal season at least, and I'll be starting Tuesday, which is when Forza 4 comes out. But don't worry, because I'll still be putting gameplay up. Um. If you guys are wondering how it's gonna affect our channel, I don't think it much will. I think I'll still be able to put up a few videos a week, even though I'm carrying two jobs and a full-time student. Um. Like I'm saying, we'll just have to see how that goes. I, I don't think it's going to hurt, you know, uh, us putting up content. I mean, I still got Spider. That's what's good about having a partner and um, partnering up on this YouTube like we did because we're both friends and, you know, we could both rely on each other to put up content if one can't do it. But um, that, yeah, I got tired of GameStop, like I just said. And tonight we're going to Knott's Scary Farm. I don't know if you guys' uh, theme parks do the same thing ours does, but over here Knott's is one of the bigger ones. And what they do is they decorate the whole theme, I mean the whole park in a Halloween theme and you can go on rides at Knott's and I think there's 13 mazes so there's going to be a bunch to do. I'll take my camera tonight, I don't know if I'm going to film guys, I might, I might not, just just depending on how it goes. But um, if I do film you can expect that to be the Sunday vlog, I know we haven't done it in a few days and we should so I'll probably end up filming tonight. But anyways guys, um, this video is coming to an end, we have them all spawn trapped right here in the hangar and I end up dying again. And uh, I think my last teammate gets the final cover though, yeah. I went 20-26, is not the best, but I had fun. Uh, I thought it was a decent gameplay with the sniper, especially for one of my first games back to COD 4 in quite some time. Anyways, guys, I've been PZ with the GoTo Gamers. I want to thank you all for watching. If you stuck with me this long, I appreciate it if you leave a like and a comment. And uh, I'll talk to you all later. Peace out.